Hello everyone, welcome to day 8 of the Bible reading plan. I literally just finished filming your, the last video you guys saw this morning. So I just finished reading um, for, um, for today, which was chapter 4 verses 1 through 12. And I'm just going to look through my... Do I? Am I talking loud? I'm like looking at my mic thingy and it's loud. I don't know. Maybe I did something different today. I try to set up my mic differently because I feel like it's been having this weird noise in the background, but it's still better than my camera mic. Mics do not like me. I haven't looked through my life application Bible, so I figured we'd do that together. And then um, hopefully we get some of today and tomorrow in this video. That is the goal. So at least have two days in these videos. So the first thing I noticed while reading this is that twice... Paul said it was counted to him, or Abraham, as righteousness. He says that in verse, verse 3. Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And then it also says it, it says it again in verse 9, and it says, For we say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. So, that's just something I noticed, I picked up on especially when they repeat something multiple times so yeah so let me open my life application bible this is pretty much what i do is i read the passage i write down anything that i get from it um i do have like highlights and stuff in here already because i've read through here before and then i just go into my life application bible so this is more of a reading thing you can also use this to you can also use this reading guide to do an in-depth study um, I would definitely, I don't know if I would do it daily, maybe take every few days to do it. I think it's broken up in like chunks, but you can definitely even like make this even longer just cause Romans has so much. In verse two, it says, for if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. And I like what my life application Bible says. It says by emphasizing faith, Paul was not saying God's laws are unimportant but that it is impossible to be saved simply by obeying them. Um, it keeps going because he kind of breaks it down for each verse. I'm just going to do it based on like verses 1 through about 8. So my life application Bible also says, This verse means that if a person could earn right standing with God by being good, the granting of that gift wouldn't be a free act. It would be an obligation. Our self-reliance is futile. F futile? Futile. Futile. Our self-reliance is futile. All we can do is cast ourselves on God's mercy and grace. And then once again, he mentioned circumcision and he, and he says, he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believed without being circumcised so that the righteousness would be counted to them as well. And that's just also showing that it was just, you know, to set them apart, but also that circumcision, especially in those times, because that's specifically what it's saying, is that, you know, circumcision didn't make you more God's child. Um, my life application Bible says, Circumcision was an outward sign and seal for the Jews that they were a people special to God. Circumcision of all Jewish boys set the Jewish people apart from the nations who worshipped other gods. Thus, it was very important. It was a very important ceremony. God gave the blessings and the command for this ceremony to Abraham. Let me see, Let me see what else does it say. And then it just talks more about how circumcision was an outward thing. Um, and then it says, but we should not think Wait. ceremonies and rituals serve as reminders of our faith and they instruct new and younger believers, but we, wait, but we should not think that they give us any special merit before God. They are outward signs. They are outward signs, seals that demonstrate their inner belief and trust. The focus of our faith should be on Christ and his saving work, not on our own actions. This kind of like the same thing I mentioned about baptism it's like baptism is to show others and just to say like i have a new life i have accepted christ it is a act that follows your salvation just to for people to physically like it's a physical and ceremonial thing 
Um, but the act of baptism does not save you. So, yeah, that's what I got here. Yeah, we're almost getting to my favorite part of Romans. Romans chapter 6 is my favorite. Oh my goodness, I just realized what that noise is that I hear. It's outside, like on my mic. My mic is picking up like the wind from outside. Tomorrow, we're finishing chapter 4, so I will check back in. in mm -hmm. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow, hopefully bright and early. I decided that I cannot trust myself to... I need to have more discipline. That's what I realized. And I think that's something that I did last year when I was like trying to create those habits that would help me to you know wake up early read my bible and just have that time because i missed that time it was nice to wake up early and have that time before god and like have hours before i started work where i was just in god's presence enjoying my coffee just you know having time for me my self-care that was like my self-care was waking up early so that's my goal for tomorrow is to wake up early and just to force myself to do it even if that means telling myself like you know if you don't wake up early you can't do this or you can't do that sometimes i gotta treat myself like a child because i don't listen so so let's see how well i do and i will talk with you guys in the morning all right guys it is day nine i tried so hard to wake up early today i i set my alarm for six i woke up did my stuff in the bathroom and then i convinced myself that i deserved some more sleep and then i slept for another two hours so, we'll try again tomorrow. But it is day nine. So day nine, it's chapter four, verses 13 to 25. So the rest of chapter four. So that's nice. It's like these next few days are all kind of, um, what you call it? Kind of covering one chapter every video. It's kind of nice. I like the way that happened. Open up this bad boy. So in this beginning part, it's still talking about Abraham and how it's through faith. I like what verse 16 says. It says, that is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring. And in my Life Application Bible, it says, Paul explains that Abraham pleased God through his faith alone before he ever heard about the rituals that would become so important to the Jewish people. We too are saved by faith plus nothing. It is not by loving God and doing good that we are saved, neither is it faith plus love or faith plus good works. We are saved only through faith in Christ, trusting him to forgive all our sins. It's through faith alone. And that's something I really like. And that's something that I feel like Paul kind of drives home in all his books. Because I know even in Ephesians, he says you're saved by grace through faith. Like, he's making sure we know it's by faith. It's by nothing that we do, nothing that we can do to have, to, to be saved and to...